and pose of the child. <clears throat> Let your hips be heavy into your heels, your head into the ground, the earth. Your arms extending, it's natural, easeful, forward bend. Just land here on the mat here. Let go of any thing that's not about your practice right here. Just get yourself right here. And then come into downward facing dog and move around on your mat here from your hands, feet, up through your legs, arms, your whole torso. Just move around however you like. Just get connected. Feet, legs, hands, arms, spine, pelvis, breath. You could shake your head around, yes and no. Ha, ha. And walk your hands to your feet, Uttanasana. Mm -hmm. Hands to your feet. And downward dog. And walk your hands to your feet. The other feet, some of you. Mm -hmm. And downward dog. And go for a longer stance this time. Walk your hands further forward, long base, good. Take your right leg up to the sky. Take your leg up and over. Sit it free, free, free. Lower heel to the sky. And then reverse your legs. Turn up and take it over. Make this feel good. Does this feel, it feels good just to take a leg up and over, yeah? Weight things up. Lower heel to the sky. And then take your top foot down. Walk your hands to your feet. Bend your knees quite a bit. Bring your chest into your thighs. Interlock your hands at your lower back. Integrate your shoulders into your back and wrap your arms forward. Straightening them. Good. Plug your heels down. Move your hips forward toward your toes. Ah, shake your head around, yes, no, a bit. Come into neutral. Deep breathing, deep breathing. And bring your hands down, walk your hands forward, downward facing dog. And step to the top of your mat. Both feet up, feet together, lifting halfway up, breathe in. Exhale, bow forward. Lift halfway up. And you'll take half moon pose. So bring your thumb tips up in front of your baby toes. Take your right leg and arm to the sky, half moon. You can take bound half moon if you like. Set it free. Set it free. Stability from the floor to the upper foot and everything between the two legs drawing into the center. Take your lower butt cheek into the body. Pull the pit of the belly in. Spin your lower lung forward, upper lung back. Look up and bow forward. Ha. Good. Lift halfway up and then half moon, other side. Left leg, left limb to the sky. The arm and leg grounding toward the earth. Really get grounded from your fingertips, the standing hand, the standing foot. Be really present through the even, like pressing through the standing foot down. And pull up from the ground, up. And pull out, express out. Big, bright opening, and bow forward. Good. Mm -hmm. Feet together, root down, catch your hips, rise up, arms to the sky, inhale, and samastitihi. Bring your hands to your heart center. We'll take three ohms, inhale, 
up, reach up, breathe in, exhale, bow, lift halfway up, inhale, and through your vinyasa, so chaturanga, up dog, down dog, take a long base, again, between your hands and feet, go wide, take your feet wide to the outer edges of your mat, and just be at play here, you could bend the knees a bit, and Keeping the knees bent, your tailbone lifting, lumbar spine into the body, upper arm bones lifting, the spine between your shoulder blades melting into your back. Yeah, have fun. <laughs> Look forward, breathe out. Lift the pit of your belly and launch. <sighs> yeah, some sound effects. Halfway up and yogi bow. Root down and draw up to go all the way up, high as can be, bow, exhale. Halfway up, inhale, and through your vinyasa. Upward facing, downward facing. Again, take the foundation and go long. You could take the feet wide. If you want to explore a bit, bend the legs, or yeah, however you want to create your down dog, but you're looking for the overall integration, all the extremities moving and orienting, organizing into the center. Take a deep breath out, pull the pit of your belly up, look forward, and float. Halfway up, and yogi bow. Root down, rise high, and bow. Halfway up, through your vinyasa, chaturanga dandasan, up dog, down dog. Ha, ha. Mm -hmm. Deep, deep breathing. Yeah, like really, really a new kind of breath, a new kind of breath flow. So bend your knees a bit. Get powerful from the ground up into the center of your body, it's the pelvis. And I, as you bend the knees, I want you to kind of bounce back and forth. I want you to kind of find the rebounding force from your feet to the pelvis, the rebounding force, and have that bounce take your legs forward to the top of your mat. If you're ready, you'll take the bounce and float it forward. Halfway up, inhale, and bow. Bend your knees, Utkatasana, Thunderbolt. Inhale, bow, exhale. Halfway lift, inhale, and through your vinyasa. Up dog, down dog. Right leg stepping forward to the Virabhadrasana. One, reach up high, look up, hips lower, heart higher, Chaturanga. Through your vinyasa. And Virabhadrasana, one, left leg forward, back foot flat, root to rise, hips lower, hips lower, and vinyasa, good. Upward dog, downward dog. Set your drishti, create your down dog here, whatever you want it right now. What is your body calling for in the ways of opening up, in the ways of freeing up, in the ways of releasing something? and let this posture be a tool to create that kind of opening or that kind of release or that kind of strengthening. Use the posture with the intention to have some kind of shift, some kind of magic happen for yourself here. Yeah, different than just kind of going through automatic pilot, get present to causing something, making something happen that's great and new and opening. A long breath out, emptying. Now bend the legs a bit and look forward and get the rebounding. So bounce a little, you wanna get in the fluid quality and then you'll take the bounce and float it. 
halfway up. Exhale, bow, bend your knees, Utkatasana, Uttanasana, bow. Trini, lift halfway up, Chaturanga Dandasana, your vinyasa, up dog, down dog, and then right leg, warrior one. Bring your front leg to the square, hips lower, heart higher, Chaturanga, up dog and down dog, and left leg, Viravajrasana, one. Chaturanga, up dog, down dog. And notice if you, your tendency is to create like a lot or too much hardness in your legs, in your knees, in the ankles, knees. If you're over jamming your like heels toward the floor, well that ends up kind of jamming up the ankles. If you're overemphasizing the legs, stretching or something, and it gets too much hardness in the knees, or overworking something in the legs, or too much efforting in the arms, you want to bring the balance of the hard and the soft, the stida sukha asanam. Yeah? And then as you bend your knees, lift your heels up, you'll look forward, but before you jump, I want you to kind of bounce back, and I want you to get from the pelvis to your feet, the gravitational, your, pelvis to the floor, but you're taking the bounce of the earth rebounding, and then you take that to jump forward. It's the rebounding force taking you forward, not donkey kicking forward. <laughs> Halfway up, inhale, bow, exhale, bend your knees, Utkatasana, bow, halfway up, and through your vinyasa. Right leg warrior one. Take your hips low, right to a square. The front, yeah, create the front leg is just breathe here. Breathe here. And just check it out. Where are your where are your like feet to your legs? You could take a peek, look at your front leg. Are your heels on a line? Is your front knee stacked over the ankle? Your front shin on a vertical line is what you would want to have happen here. As much as you can, your front shin on a vertical line and your front thigh on a horizontal line. Sink low or most of you, why not, you got this. Open the heart, open your eyes, see what you see above you, pull up and back from your feet to the pelvis, from your pelvis to the floor, pull up into core, open out even more, bigger, brighter, bolder, chaturanga, <laughs> through your vinyasa. <laughs> Left leg, Virabhadrasana. One, good. Breathe here. Mm -hmm. Maybe cross your thumbs, bend your elbows a bit, bring your wrists forward of your head and lift your shoulders, integrate your shoulders, pin your shoulders into your back and take your wrists back. And tight, you're creating the tug of war, yeah, between your thumbs. And as you straighten the arms, pull your elbows toward each other. Pull your, yeah, your heart up pelvis to your feet to the ground, ground down and pull the rebounding force up to your pelvis, pit of the belly up, open the heart up and back even more, take it up and back, vinyasa, chaturanga, good, up dog, down dog, ha, ha, ho, good work, mm, breathing, Lift your heels, bend your knees, and look forward, but I want you to again kind of get into the bounce from your pelvis to your feet, and from the feet to the ground and the rebounding, get that, and then I want you to take like five jumps, and the intention here is you could shorten your stance in, in the, between your feet and hands, but I want you to jump and get a little hand standing balancing happening, take like five or seven hops, and, and you want to pause at the top. You want to pause in the arm balance, the upside down tada extended Tadasana. Okay, now walk your hands even closer and you'll take leapfrogs. So you'll bring the insides, inner edges of your feet together. Yeah, and then you'll take five leapfrogs. So the inner edges of your feet press, 
And you know your feet are action, flexion, and the arms firm. Working from the pelvis to your feet and the pelvis, arms, leg, like you want to integrate all, everything here, yeah? No sleepy parts, in other words. Sleepy parts of your body. Everything working and awakening. Okay, very good. Uh, to the top of your mat with your feet together, please. Good. Lift halfway up, inhale. Bow, exhale. Bend your knees, Utkatasana. Breathe here. Take a deep breath out. Now in your inhalation, sit deep, deep. Hips back, shins back, heart higher. <laughs> Breathe out again. On the in-breath, sit deeper. Like take your pelvis deeper and take it back. So you're more weighted into your heels, shins back, arms up, chest up, chest up. Breathe out. In breath, sit deeper, but heart higher. Okay, bow, exhale. Oh, halfway up, inhale. Vinyasa, chaturanga, up dog, down dog. Ha. Right leg, Virabhadrasana, one. To the square, in your front leg, check it, get it. Okay, chaturanga. Not happening, a lot of squares not happening. Mm-mm. Down dog, left leg, warrior one, step into the square. Create the square, hip lower, hips lower. You got this, hips lower, greater blood flowing, hips lower, heart higher, chaturanga. Good, up dog, down dog, and then right leg up and you'll flip your dog. Go ahead, integration. Uh, Urdhva Dhanurasana from here, wheel pose. Nice, big opening the wheel, yeah, pull your elbow, if your arm's in the air, pull it and squeeze your scapula toward the midline, yeah, good, and then keep that integration, open your throat and your hand now can reach right down to the floor and wheel's kind of right here for you. You want to keep, you're moving your shoulder to your chest, you keep it to your back, you, the wheel's right here. The default is to move your shoulders to your chest as you go, and it won't happen. Okay, very good. Side plank. Very good. Side plank. And take a variation of side plank. You take your upper leg, take the foot, extend it up, or you could take the shin with the hand, however, some variation. It's just lift the upper leg off the lower leg. Now, both feet are in a banda. The arches express, ex, uh, created and suctioning, expressing, pulling energy up to the body, into the pelvis. Both hands, bandhas. Very good, vinyasa, up dog, down dog. Then you'll step your right leg forward for crescent lunge. You can cross your thumbs above your head and you wanna firm up, organize your legs, resistance from the periphery into the center of the body, yeah. Now sh your shoulder is integrated, take your arms back, now open jaw to your neck, then open your throat, pit of your belly in, take it up and back. So keep zipping up your yeah, legs, firm into the center, from the center belly in, heart opening, take it up and back. Very good, Anjali Mudra to your heart and twist, twisting. And from here you'll take um, your hands down, you'll take twisted scissors, arm balancing. Scissors pose, or twisted sister pose. Okay, good. Come up to Virabhadrasana 2, into bound Parsvakonasana. Bound Parsvakonasana, go for the full bind. Yeah, catch it, recreate the foundation from the feet up into the pelvis. Take your right femur head in, open your heart, keep the bind and look down and you'll step your back leg forward for Bird of Paradise. 
If you don't have the full bind, take tree pose up at the top of the pose, the tree, and come into the full expression, receiving the pose. So both legs actioning down and from center out, grounding through the earth, core, pelvic floor up, heart opening, look up. Oh, good. Bow, Bakasana, the crow. Ready, set, yogi, you go. One, the crow. Two, three, four. Breathe in and chaturanga. Three, your vinyasa. Uh, flip your dog. Mm -hmm. Flip dog, Urdhva Dhanarasana, the wheel, if it's here. Yeah, if you really get the integration, yeah, from your feet to the pelvis, pelvis to the floor, take the rebounding up, and the heart opening, the spine extending, your shoulders deep, the scapula pretty deeply grounded into your back, the scapula lifting your heart, throat opening, the wheel is right here for you. And you'll come up your side plank, good. Side plank and take a variation with the top leg. Get it up and away from the floor, somehow, some way. Good, vinyasa. Up dog, down dog. Left leg crescent lunge. And again, you'll create your, cross your thumbs. So you're creating resistance from your feet, legs up in your pelvis, pelvis down, grounding down, and then from the hands and the wrists, a little bend in the elbows, coming into the bone energy. Take your eyes, uh, your chin to your neck, open your throat, look up, eyes up and take them back across the ceiling. Keep zipping up from the floor to core, core to the floor, Uddiyana, pit of the belly in, heart opening, big opening, up and back, up and back, and then take your twist from Anjali Mudra, a spin, drishti, and then you'll bring both hands over and you'll take your arm balance right here. Mm -hmm. One, yeah, arms like crow. Two, three, feet, bandhas. Four, feet, action the feet. Very good. Warrior two, Virvajrasana two, into Parsvakanasana with the bind. Bada, Parsvakanasana, take the full bind. Once you've got the bind, your hands connected at your back, integrate from floor to core, pelvic core to the floor, and take the rebounding energy up, and opening your heart out, big opening out, and then look down, bird of paradise. You'll take your back leg forward, and you'll rise on up. And if, again, you don't, tree is a nice scale here. You could take the tree. Deep breathing, the full expression. Both legs from the pelvis, Express out, heart opening, the shoulders, the heads of the shoulders to your back, chin to your neck, open your throat, look up, big breath in, ground down to rise higher, okay, bow to the crow, set your hands down, and now fly high above it all, the crow you go, one, two, Three, four, and chaturanga. Very good. Up dog, down dog. Very good. Holy moly, asana. Walk your feet about halfway up the mat, and you'll take um, the leapfrogs, those fancy, fun, Three leaf frogs, or they don't have to be fancy at all. They're just free, playful, playful, 
Nothing about it. Mm -hmm. Just leave you an access and balance for yourself. Getting balance on the mat and in the body. It's amazing how our energy kind of gets balanced out just in a very organic, natural way. And it takes something. You kind of got to grapple with your edge, your growing edge, yeah? yeah? And at the edge is where new things happen, new openings, new discovery, new power, new freedom, new levels of vitality, all happening at the expanding edge, yeah? Our growing edge. So here's the opportunity to dance at your edge, your growing edge. Confronting the fear that may be right here in your body, but you're at play with it. Notice any of the I can't conversations or I don't want to. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and step in, give that up, let that go. If you're willing to, you gain a whole new kind of power and freedom for yourself. By just doing what you can do is the best you've got to give. Okay, really good. Take a deep breath out. Mm-hmm. Walk your feet up to the top of your mat. Lift halfway up, breathe in. So when you're lifting halfway up, you're committed to getting your spine extending straight with the curve in the lumbar. Take your lumbar spine toward the floor into the body and pull the pit of the belly up, the shoulders, up into your back, thoracic spine into your, the chest. You've got the natural curve of thoracic spine. Notice when we say halfway up, it's kind of jargon. It's not specific to what's happening in the body, but you, as yogi, as, you know, we've practiced enough, all of us here in this class, to know that, well, a halfway up means a complete, full extension, expression of the spine, straight spine. And when we say straight, it's got its natural curves, in fact, yeah? Okay, you'll fold forward, very good. And then catch your hips, bend your knees, deep utkatasana, reach your arms up, inhale. Twisting, hence your heart, twist your left arm to the outer right thigh, big opening your chest, butt back, sternum, the inner wall of the chest forward, spin more, and then from here, take side crow, hands down to the mat, and side crow, you go, flow, one, two, three, be free to play in your body, to explore in your body, no judgment about your body or what you can do, there's no right way, just play, play, that's the right way, just be at play, silly goose, silly yogi. <laughs> okay, very good. Bow forward, feet together, feet on 12 o'clock and together. Bend your knees deep, Utkatasana, inhale. Bend deep, bend deep, heart high, and twist to the other side. Mm -hmm. The right arm to the outer left leg. Create a nice twist here for yourself, a twisting action, a rinsing of the dirty whatever, sponge or something internally. If there's anything to rinse out, anything left to rinse, rinse it out from the inside out. Now side crow, you go. One, two, don't miss out, don't miss out. Give up any kind of thoughts that stop you and just do what you can do here and you can, you'll surprise yourself every time. Good, come back, forward folding, feet split at hip width. Take the block between your thighs, will you? Um, maybe mid width even, a little wider. Um, you could decide though, but block between your legs, squeeze into the center line, catch your big toes with your peace fingers, and pull halfway up, inhale. Remember what halfway up is for us. It's the extending spine. And then bow, very good. Shake your head yes and no. And yogi, drop it and let it all go. Let the flow, the nectar flow down to your brain. Give your brain a washing, a cleansing, a flushing of old energy out. And in the new space, there's, wow, new energy, new clarity. 
breathe out. And on the inhalation, squeeze the block more firmly, work from your feet in the core, and lift halfway up and make that extending spine for real. Good, gorilla asana. Hands under your feet, palms facing up, toes up to your wrists, halfway up, breathe in. And yogi bow. Ha. So as you squeeze the block, zip up your legs, yeah, be really in your feet. And from the pelvis, grounding down, taking your hips forward, pulling the rebounding energy up for your feet. It triggers through your ankles, the knees. If your knees are too hard, like you're over contracting, creating too much hardness at the ankles or knees, note that and soften to allow the rebounding force from the earth to come up and pass through the joint systems, through the femur heads, opening your, the length of your spine in a way that is kind of um, new for you today, right here. And then, very good, release your feet. Toe, uh, you could remove the block. Toe heel your feet together. Catch your hips, and with a straight spine, so shoulder integration and rise up. Root down, pull up, and go all the way up. Arms up to the sky, look forward. Go Ruda Asana, eagle pose, right arm under, right leg over. One, trishti, two, three, be free, ujjayi, trishti, stay with me, leave your arms, but take your top foot and move it way back into Virabhadrasana one, the front leg bends into a square, good, go deep, or go um. <laughs> Lift your arms, pull, pin your shoulders to your back, thoracic spine opening. So work from your pelvis to the floor, and from the floor up into the core, belly in, heart opening, open your throat. Look back, pull up and back. Uproot the spine out of the pelvis. The spine, the low spine, the roots of the spine being pulled up and out of the soil of the pelvis. And then look forward, step your back leg forward, and samastitihi, arms alongside your body. Ha, ha, ah. Welcome to the world of bliss. <laughs> Take a deep breath out, lift your arms, inhale, and then eagle, left arm under, left leg over, one, two, three, Four, squeeze your two legs into one, ground down, lift up, pull up through the crown, pelvis to crown. Then take your top leg back to Virabhadrasana one with the eagle bada, keeping the bind. Create the square at your front leg. Everyone, front leg to a square, earth to yogi, earth to yogi. Front thigh horizontal to the floor, and that will allow for a full flushing of blood through the pelvis, the energy flow. The lower your hips go, allowing the front thigh to be to that level line, the horizontal line, the greater the flow, the greater the kind of empowering action. Open your throat, open up and back. Pelvis to the floor, take the rebounding energy up from the arches of the feet the bandhas of the feet, and pull the belly in, open your heart, even a greater opening, breathing in, look forward, step forward, samastitihi. Mm -hmm. ah. Standing from your pelvis down through the earth, receiving energy, the rebounding energy up, the vertical center line, the spine rising, the tree of life rising, growing up. And then eagle pose, right arm under, right leg over. One, 
two, soften your jaw, your face, three, and samastitihi, standing at attention, from the pelvis down, and from the ground, taking the energy up, eagle pose, left arm under, left leg over, one, two, three, four, five, samastitihi, good, lift, catch your hips, lift your right leg, catch your right foot, the baby toe edge of the right foot, flex your feet, pull the femurs, the legs up into the pelvis, then ground down through the standing leg and extend forward and out through the upper leg, one, Two, three, four, five. Take your leg to the right, look to the left. One, two, three, four, five. Take your leg forward, lift your arms, lift the right leg, bend the front leg, right leg, and then airplane, fly high. One, two, three, four, five. Hands to your heart center, pause. Now bound half moon pose or chapasana, yeah? Or you could take the extending half moon. One, yeah, bringing any lazy parts, dull parts, whether it's from the hands, feet, arms, like anything that's kind of sleepy, firm it up. And so pulling it into the center, pulling it in and up to the pelvis. Then there's a deeper grounding down and expanding out. The front, le the standing leg, man, you've got to take your standing butt cheek in. Take it in toward the center line. Take it into the body, your standing butt cheek. The outer shin in. Okay, bow forward, very good. Step your left leg back behind you to lunge. Knee to the ground, good. Take your arms up to the sky. Cross your thumbs, again, shoulders integrating into the back, wrists back. Now, shin to your neck, open your throat and pull your spine up out of the pelvis and go backward a bit. Look forward to neutral, bend your back leg, catch your back foot with your left hand. Squeeze the, so from the feet, everything squeezes in, both feet, both legs. Pull in tight, then ground down and pull up. Yoga mudra with your free hand, thumb to first finger. This is a pulling up and a backward bending. So you're creating the rebounding energy by pulling everything into the center then grounding from the pelvis down, pull the rebounding energy up, pit of the belly in, heart opening, go up and back even more to a beautiful expression, very nice, and bow, downward facing dog. <sighs> mm -hmm. Bring your thumb tips together and bring your right hand to the outside of your left ankle. Take an extending and twisting action. Right hand to the outside of your left ankle like that. Yeah, does this feel good? Yeah. That's good. And then reverse your arms. Does that feel good? Yeah. I'm not convinced. What, pretty, pretty good? And you don't have to say it. I wouldn't want you to lie, but... Good, both hands forward, walk halfway up, take some leapfrogs until exhaustion. Go ahead. <laughs> until there's no fear left of doing a leapfrog, until there's nothing left. Bring all you've got, be total, hold nothing back. Let go of everything and be for something new. 
right here. Okay, very good. To the top of your mat. Mm -hmm. Catch your hips, feet together. Come on up to standing. Lift your left leg up. Catch your left foot. Utita hasta padam gustasana. Extend the leg forward. <laughs> One. Integration. Extremity into the center line and core. And then you know the core, the floor. Pull up. All, take it all, the grounding, upward energy, lifting out and express it out. Take your leg out to the left. Look to the right. One, <laughs> two, three, four, five. Look forward, <laughs> take it forward. <laughs> Cross your thumbs. Lift the leg, lift the leg, and then airplane. Open your arms. You could interlock your hands at your lower back. You, you could. It's a choice, um, but you can get some nice, create some nice resistance from the hands, the arms, shoulders integrating. Then hands to your heart center, pause, and then you'll take your bound half moon pose. Or you'll take extending half moon. Bring in the principles of integration. So notice the femur heads and the top of the arm bones all have to pull into the center. The femur heads pull in to the center line, both of them. The standing butt cheek, pull it in. The arm bones into the back. Top of the arm bones to the back, behind the spine. Big opening, big bright opening. Very nice, bow forward. Step your right leg back to lunge. Bring your knee down to the ground. Take your arms up, heart up over your hips. Good. Cross your thumbs. Create the resistance from the left to right and take the energy into the spine line. Mm -hmm. And then pull up and opening back. Soften the jaw, your face, drishti steady, and then gaze forward, good. Catch your back foot with your right hand, and then get kind of centered, oriented toward the center, forward, and then pull all the parts into the center, organize into the center, resist into the center, then ground down from the pelvis down, to the floor, pull up through your core, through your pit of your belly, rising, heart opening, go up and back, up and back. It's really great to go back in this pose. The whole, like you, you just, your nervous system lights up like a Christmas tree when you go backward in this pose. And if you don't go back, it doesn't light up like a Christmas tree. Not bad or anything, you just don't get the Christmas tree lights this year. <laughs> Nothing wrong with evergreen Christmas. Okay, <laughs> down, especially for a yogi. Downward facing dog. Very good. Take a deep, deep breath out. Look for, bend your legs and give yourself, get the bounce. Yeah, the bounce from the earth like a ball, bouncing and float forward to the top of your mat. And lift halfway up. And yogi bow. Then catch your strap, will you? We'll take Natrajasana, dancer's pose with the strap around your right ankle to begin. Um, yeah, and you want to hold the, you want the strap around the ankle, it's really good, or the, the shin, yeah, the leg bone. The foot's okay but you'll have a lot more leverage and power if you're working from the leg bones than the foot. The default is if the foot goes soft at all, it just jams at the ankle and then the energy gets cut off from the foot bonda to the core. So be purposeful in where you're setting the strap. Anyhow, deep breathing, full opening.
full expression. Okay, good. And you'll take the other side, strap around the other leg. Ready, yogi take aim. So tighten the bow, yeah, really key to take the peripheral parts of the body, tighten it all up from the hands and feet, legs, arms, pulling into the center, and then you'll move out. From the center, orient to the center, the parts into the center, and then move out, down, back, up, in, This is pulsation of moving in and then expressing out. Getting to the heartbeat of the pose. Integration into the center, the pulsation of expanding, expressing out. Very good. Samastitihi. Just get centered for a moment. Ah, get centered. Bring your pelvis to the floor. Do your drishti, very soft drishti. The eyes are tender and steady. The brain softens. The energy drops down into the pelvis basin, grounded to earth. Then dancers, Natarajasana with the strap around the right leg. Ready, take aim. Yogi. And you flow. One, two, steady, three, steady, opening, four, beat to core to the floor and out to all the lines of the body. Very good. Other side. Very good. Good, good. Bringing love. Yeah, lots of love. Go ahead. Other side. Ready? Yogi. Set it up. Take aim. Pull it all into the center and then move out into freedom. Deep breathing, deep, deep breathing. Full expression, full expression. Bring something there, whatever that is for you. Okay, very good, very good. You could set the strap aside, samastitihi, staying in tadasana. From the pelvis down, the body grows down into the earth. From the pelvis up, it's growing up. And you're working with the energy of the earth to cause all that growth. Now, <clears throat> tree vrikshasana. Lift your right foot up, right leg up into the inner left thigh. Set the foot, the two legs press into one center. Grounding from the, take it up into the pelvis, Uddiyana. Spanning up, out through the crown, arms up, good. Take your eyes up, look up. Take your head back. Could close your eyes. See how good you are? <laughs> pretty good, pretty good. Look at that, pretty good. And even falling is good, yeah? yeah. Falling is good. There's no real flow without a good fall. <laughs> Okay, good. Change sides the tree. Standing in timelessness, yeah, from drishti, the soft, tender drishti. 
the brain softens, the mind quiets, thoughts disappear, and standing and embodied in timelessness beyond time. Could look up, could. Could close your eyes. Samastitihi, very good. Tadasana, the top of your mat, please. Take a deep breath out, get grounded. Core to floor, floor to core, upward rising, arms lifting, breathe in. Yogi, bow forward. Halfway up, inhale. Crow pose, bhagasana. Bonus pose. Doing good work and got a bonus pose. One, two, three, four, and through your vinyasa, chaturanga, upward dog, downward dog. Take a big step with your right leg into Viravadrasana one and Viravadrasana two. Spine stacking from the top to the bottom. Bottom to the top, the spine lining up, straight line. Mm -hmm. And then you'll, ooh, you'll move to your triangle pose, slow as can be. You wanna tilt your tailbone to the back, of the edge of your mat, tailbone moves back. You're working to keep your pelvis and your spine on a similar line, right, or plane. So if you notice your ribs start, your spine's rounding, the ribs are bending uh, at the s lateral side of the body, you, your, your spine's starting to go away from the pelvis. So the pelvis rotates back, tailbone moves up, so the length of the spine is straight, the spine is straight, still in a line. Take your right, your low, front butt cheek in, front butt cheek in, open your heart. Big bright opening, very good. Come up to standing, catch your hips. Turn your feet, both of them into 12 o'clock. Check in, now ground down and look up, rise up. Pelvis down, you ground, pelvis up, you grow up and bow forward, good. Ah, oh. Whatever you want to do with your hands, maybe creating some leverage to deepen. You're pulling your spine through the window of your legs. Hips forward, some of you guys to your tailbone, the sitting bones more in line with the ankles rather than having your pelvis behind your feet on the floor, over the floor. Bring your hips forward so the hips are in line with the ankles or feet. Okay, very good. Catch your hips, root down and rise up. Open your right leg facing the front of the room. Step in a bit, shortening your stance for Parsvottanasana with reverse namaste. Bring your hands up behind your back between your shoulder blades. Get oriented to the center, ground down, pull up into the pelvis, up through the belly, upward rising, breathe in, and yogi bow forward. Good. and lift halfway up, and you'll take your twisting triangle, the block under the ground, the hand at the ground, the, the um, block, you know, bringing the floor up toward you is in this kind of pose, great, because what you're again looking for is to orient the pelvis and the spine on a line. So the spine is in its natural curves. The default is for the like thoracic spine especially to bend, to flex, to round, the lumbar spine to bend to. So the work to do here is to pull the shoulders into the back, 
Pull the leg bones into back, tailbone back, spine, the length of the spine being created through the extension. Very good, and then chaturanga through your vinyasa. Upward dog, downward dog, left leg forward, virabhadrasana one, and do virabhadrasana two. And take a little, some moments here to set up virabhadrasana two. The spine line, the pelvis, to the crown of your head on a line. Mm -hmm. Bring your front toes, toe heel your front foot over a little bit. There you go, get, that gives you a little more freedom. Mm -hmm. Front of the pelvis up. And then you'll take your time, straighten your front leg on the hinge line on the knee, yeah? And you'll take your triangle, keeping the pelvis and the spine moving together. So as your tailbone moves back, yeah, the, the coccyx moves back. That's the bottom of the spine. Now you want the rest of the spine on that same line, moving toward a horizontal line with the floor, but not so concerned with getting your torso so low that the spine starts bending. Better to have your torso up higher. And I like working with my legs really wide in this pose to discover that the relationship between the pelvis and spine and still continuing my vertical spine line. Even now it's moving through a horizontal line and that requires the pelvic work here, getting neutral through the pelvis. Very good, come on up, turn your feet to 12 o'clock, interlock your fingers behind your back. You know what to do, root, rise and bow. Shake your head around, what you like, mm -hmm, whatever, yeah, kind of feel like doing here. You could now take your hands to your feet, catch your big toes with your peace fingers and pull up. So from the low spine, pulling, lumbar moving in like that and then bow, deepening, pulling your torso through the window of your legs, hips forward. Notice any holding in the, the head, the skull. Allow the skull to kind of release from the neck, the muscles of the neck. Take a deep breath out, catch your hips, root down and rise up. Open your left leg, step your back leg in a bit, centering up, ground down. Mm -hmm. Take, uh, what do you want to do with your arms? What are some bonded choices, bada choices? What arm binds could you do? You could, we did reverse namaste, you could do that. Uh, yeah, I don't like the elbows that much, but it's okay. You could do elbows. What else? You could hold one hand with one wrist. One hand to one wrist allows you to keep your shoulders into your back. The elbows thing, your shoulders, you're jammed to your chest, pretty automatic. Yeah. Uh, what else could you do? You could interlock your hands behind your back. What else could you do? Be creative, people. Uh, yeah, you could take an arm back and an arm up. Yeah, you could do whatever you want. Do a bind of your choice. There are more, yeah, there are plenty more. Very good, halfway up, and you'll take your twisting triangle. Set it up so that you... Um, you can find the, again, the pelvis to the spine. You're looking, so a, a principle in twist is before rotation is extension. So you wanna find the extending spine 
then rotation. Not so healthy to twist a flex spine, a rounding bent spine. Good, open, open, open. And then take your chaturanga vinyasa. Up dog, down dog, bring the flow. Ha. Come to high plank pose. Take low plank pose. Take high plank, low plank, high and low, and low high. High low, high low, high low, high low, high low, high low. High low. Okay, lie down, good. You're here anyway, right? I mean, I don't know, you're here anyhow. You could throw in a few little extra things that make you stronger or something, why not? You're here anyhow, so you could. It's all optional. And you're here anyway. <laughs> could do a few little extra things to just get a little extra something going that wasn't going to happen anyways. <laughs> Chin to the mat, take a deep breath out. And then you'll take your upward lifting locust pose and you'll take it with whatever arm variation you wanna do here. You could take it like the airplane free independent arms, you could lace your hands, you could take, your interlock your hands behind your skull and integrate skull, Jalandhara, Shoulders into the back, whatever you want. Hands on fingers, spider fingers at the earth, working the earth for a bigger opening. Take your legs up higher. Legs up. Mm -hmm. Heart lifting, chest rising, drishti going up. Okay, come down one ear to one side. <sighs> Very good. Do it again. The locust, set it up to the center. Breathe out, chin to the mat. Yeah. And then rise up. One, two, bring your chin to your neck, open your throat. Three, four, and to the floor. Ha. <sighs> Bend your knees, catch your feet. Mm -hmm. Tighten the bow and you know, ground down through the pelvis and rise up to the sky. Ground the pelvis down. Now you've got this beautiful opportunity to create a lot of resistance from the arms and legs, yeah? So the hands and feet actioned, bandhas, yeah? Create the resistance. Pull it all into center. Ground the pelvis down and express up and out. Big, bright, beautiful, boldly, powerfully, boundless. Roll to your right side. Quick before the neighbor escapes. <laughs> yeah, create something here. In the opening, you really can open your chest. Like work this for a, a release and opening through the chest, the pelvis, the psoas. Pretty good stuff that can come out of this pose. Like really good things can come out of this right here if you work it. And then come back to center. And then you'll rise up, tighten the bow, pull up, and then, yeah, take it over to the other side. Enjoy here, enjoy your breath here. Enjoy creating an opening that's unique and given only by this movement. And at this point in this practice, there's a whole other kind of opening available to, that now that you've got the tapas, the heat, the vinyasas, the flow, <coughs> there's now available in this pose, it's really unique and new, never before to work this into something that's a, like a calling, your body's calling for it, your energy's calling for something of a shift or an opening or a release or an integrating 
healing thing, they call, like move in such a way that that greatest possibility, the greatest revelation right here happens. Move like that, breathe like that, drishti like that, where you make a miracle happen like now. <laughs> okay, come back to your center, and you'll take upward facing dog, and you'll hold it, come on up. So the key here is to press the feet down and pull the thighs up to create the line from the feet to the pelvis. The legs are collapsing and the place that goes is the sacrum. The inner, remember, inner ankles will go up. The baby t toe nails touch down to the floor. The arms, the, if you bend your elbows, a lot of you'll get more access to getting the shoulder integration. Some of you, your shoulders are pretty good. They're like in line with the spine, but that's not a full integration. You want the shoulders to move to the back of the body, upper body. Then ground the arms down, throat opening, full expression. Ground down deeper through your feet and our hands, arms. Pull the heart higher, thighs higher. Okay, down dog you go. Very good. Very, very healthy. Ah. Moving <laughs> energy, vinyasa's happening. It's like moving old energy, old stuff out, creating a new, clearing a new vibrational field, a new energetic flow. And mentally let go, let go of your rope and allow the practice to work on you, do you, in that great way that it does when we allow for it. Very good. Let's see, what pose could come next? Camel. camel could come. Let's do camel. It could, so it should. All right, camel. Go ahead. Take your camel. Do the best camel ever. Or just do camel. Very good. You'll come up and you'll come into Virasana, Supta Virasana. You'll bring your legs together, your um, the thighs together, the knees toward each other, the feet open, the lower legs out. You'll sit between your feet. You could sit on a block. If you, and then if your sit muscles are on the floor, that's an indication you're pretty ready to bring your arms, forearms to the mat, your shoulders to the mat probably. Notice the ribs, like that, how the, they want to blow out. So that's the work to keep the, so you take your tailbone forward, front ribs down toward the pelvis, the front of the pelvis, and then you play with it. If you're staying up and sitting on the block, you'll want to create the, like, come more of, like, um, onto the front edge of your sitting bones. Create the natural lumbar curve. Now, if your, your shoulders are on the floor, you could take um, Kapotasana. You bring your hands alongside your head. I like bringing my hands kind of wide. As you would for wheel, you set up your arms like that, yeah? And then shoulders into your back. Then you press your arm, you lift your hips up and straighten your arms down to the floor. And you'll lift right up, good. And then the rest of everyone, you'll take camel. You'll come back up to go back. Either you're coming up from the ground up or you're Coming up to go back to camel, so camel or kapotasana right now. Mm -hmm. Do the pose and you will have the power. Take your, press your shins and feet down and lift your hips up. 
Mm -hmm. Like that. And then you're going to have to find a way to walk your hands in a bit. I feel a bit of a stretch for you. Because um, the indication is see how late your legs are really wide. A little too far. So, yeah, yeah. When they go that wide and then you go up like that, it just tends to jam your sacrum. Yeah, so like in baby steps, that could, yeah. The block's a good indicator, a measure to where your legs are in space when you go back. Very good. Come onto um, your back and come up into bridge pose. Set Bandhasana, the bridge. Take your arm, your elbows to the floor, press them down, and take your upper arm bones, shoulders to your back. Then bring your hands alongside your head. That was a good bridge pose, everyone. Good bridge. <laughs> so good at that. Let's just go right into wheel. Go ahead, the wheel. Time waits for no one. Root to rise, root down, pull the rebounding energy up through the bandhas, the pada bandhas, the hasta bandhas, up to the mula bandha, the udiana bandha, grounding, pulling the rebounding energy up through the arches of the palms, the arches of the feet, pull it up into the pelvic floor, ground down more, pull up in a big, beautiful expression, and then come down. Ha, ha. Very good, do it again. Go for your wheel. Go for a big, beautiful wheel. And whatever that is for you right here, we'll never tell you in this practice how far to go or what you should do. Or like, yeah, you're, you're using your finer attention, your finer, finer kind of ener refined energy and intuition to feel your body out really. Like what, what's really available here? What's really um, in tune with what's possible here in your body it physically at a measurable level? And then the energy will take what's physically measurable, the energetic flow from the bones, from the core, the energy will expand and fill in the measurable into so the immeasurable, the impossible. Okay, very good, people. Do it again. Good resting, I mean. Go ahead, go ahead, go up. Go on up. A lot of good resting happening in the wheels today. And that's fine. And again, you're here anyway, right? You're here on the mat in this practice anyhow. And so could you give yourself something that could further a deepening of a shift? Something. And yeah, maybe you're working just at 30% or 50% of your max. And if that's what's honest or so in your body, and is 100% available, and if you bring it to 100%, then the beauty of yoga always is that we bring, get it to 100% in the pose, and then the energy of something miraculous just opens up to, like, up to, open it, it up to 1,000. All right, do it again, wheel. Go ahead. If you're already up, just stay up. Everyone else, come on up. People are holding space for you up in wheel right now, and you don't even know it. Go ahead, go up. Now you could just stay up. You could just stay up. Otherwise, come down. Could just stay up. Otherwise, come down. And then if you came down, go back up. And meet the people who are holding the space for you up here and wheel. Come up to the people who are holding the space. Good. And you could just stay up, you could, otherwise come down. Yeah, good, and if you came down, now you could come right, come back up, you got that. Come on back up. You got something here, bridge wheel. Mm -hmm. Bring your right hand to your right thigh. 
Catch your, yeah, right hand to your right thigh. Now tighten the bow. Pull your arm bone to your back and then change arms. So when you catch your thigh, you, you catch the leg and use that resistance. Pull it into the arm and leg into the center to ground down deeper and pull up. Expand out higher and bigger, brighter from all dimensions and directions. Very good. You could come on down. Bring your feet to the outer edges of your mat and your thighs together. Feet go really wide and your thighs together. You feel that? I didn't, how many did we, we do, like I say, how many did we do? <laughs> there are a few, like six-ish? Yeah. Or a few more than six? Something around there, huh? It's really good. The energy, all the energy, the, all that sparking, the igniting. So much energy on so many levels. These kind of back bends ignite a kind of heart energy, an emotional they ignite the emotional body. It's often in these kind of heart opening or these chest opening poses, there's that kind of experience of, wow, motion coming up and being released. These back, the back bends are not only chest openers, they're pelvic openers. A lot of energy can get released in, in such a great way. It just starts moving things through, stuck energy starts softening, moving. Very good, now take your legs up into your chest. Take happy dead bug pose. You can move around or you can be still. How are you? Okay, very good, bring your legs together. Rock and rolls please, up and back. So your feet, <laughs> hands, core, Navasana, boat pose, boat, Navasana, and take low boat, and take high boat, and take low boat, and take high boat. Breathe here, stay here, breathe here. Cross your thumbs here, like you were doing before, yeah. Take low boat. Now create the friction from the left and right arm, and shoulders to your back. Now, stay with me. You can bring your heels to touch the floor, but keep the danda, the stiff, and then take your arm, head back to the mat, and arms back. Breathe in here, find the in-breath. Now take a deep breath out, and pull into integration. Now come up, Navasana, keeping the out breath, yeah? Now come down, inhale, arms back, legs down. Stay here and breathe out, Uddiyana Bandha, and come up. Press your pelvis down to rise up, 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 and come down. Take a deep breath in and a deep breath out, Uddiyana. Keep the exhalation and rise up, tighten the bow, pelvis grounding, rising and come down, breathe in, and breathe out, hold the out breath, and come up, 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 up into the up, and then down, one more, your breath, find the exhalation, rise on up, yogis of a feather, fly up way high together, breathing, breathing, Cross your ankles, down dog, down dog. Yeah, good work. Right leg up, half pigeon. Take your bow. Any variation of half, half pigeon. You're working your front leg to the square. Tuck your back toes. So you're keeping both feet actioning at some level. As soon as you go plop with the feet, notice the ankles get collapsed, the energy gets cut off from the feet, then to the legs, to the pelvis, the pelvis, legs, feet, it's all cut off. It all goes kind of too dull to actually 
get the bigger benefit that's available here is through keeping the feet, legs, and pelvis working. And then you be sensitive to finding the center of the body, the left to right, kind of can kind of be in a little dance with where's the center here? You're, you're feeling out the center, different than just plopping over into the one side or something. And downward facing dog. Very good, good. And then your left leg to half forward to half pigeon pose. Yeah, I like coming up onto my arms and um, lifting my you know, hips off the mat a bit to kind of find, feel out the center. And then as you get that, you can come in, enter the pose in the way that works here for you. Breathing. Very good, downward facing dog. <clears throat> uh, walk about halfway up your mat and bring your knees down to the floor. Lift your feet, cross your ankles, and you'll come into double pigeon pose. Um, the left leg on the bottom, let's take the right leg on top and catch your right leg um, and then be, rock the baby kind of thing, yeah. So your hand, left hand is holding the right foot like that, yeah, and if you're moving from the you know, pelvis where the femur head meets up into the pelvis, you're moving from the source there, the movement, and then you could stack your upper leg over the lower leg. I like bringing my ankle bone over the floor different than on the thigh, but you can kind of play with that. I don't think there's a right or wrong, but you'll notice different settings get different results. Deep, deep breathing. Very good, and then take Navasana, boat pose. Just what this does is you see it kind of reintegrates, recalibrates the extremities to the center, and like you have the opportunity to kind of click back into like neutral, and then take the other side. Yeah, rock the baby. Mm -hmm. This feels good, yeah? yeah? When you tell your friends and family that you're going to yoga training, 
for the week. I think you're doing this kind of thing all week, right? Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes they're not laying around on your back doing it. Sometimes they chanting. <laughs> Good, and set it up. Take your settings of choice and then you'll take your pose. breathe and you feel what you feel, you experience different body sensations, different energy, different muscle movement as you're breathing into it all. Things, as you hold, things shift. So you want to like go into those openings as they become available. It may be every breath or two or three, depending. It's always unique, but usually if you're really with it and you're really attention is present to what you're experiencing, you're breathing and you start noticing things are moving and then you move into that opening and then you're here and you're feeling it, you're realigning, reintegrating, recentering, deepening, a new opening, oh yeah, go through this open door that's right here, it's a moment to moment phenomena and you're in the discovery of the possibility the potentia of this moment to moment to moment, the organic openings. Life is organic, and we can really discover that through our yoga practice. Not linear, it's organic, and we're here breath by breath, moment by moment, and we walk through the opening. The opening is the opportunity to move into the new space, new space. It's a break with the old, a break or an opening into the new. Very good, good, good. Spring both legs forward, Paschimottanasana, catch your feet. And you'll pull upward. Mm -hmm. I like softening my knees a bit in this, and then at least to enter it, and then go for it. Forward folding. And you're pressing your thighs toward the earth, keeping the actions of the feet, the resistance through the, from the arms and legs, pulling into the center, and pressing the tops of the thighs down deeper, the spine lengthening. You play with pulling the shoulders into the back and creating the lengthening of your spine. Very good, come on up and bring your hands behind you, Parvottanasana, press down, lift your hips up, feet and hands down, hips up, open your throat, head back, one, two, three, four, toes to the floor, five, Ground down to your feet. Lift your hips higher. Heart opening higher. I lost counting. Aww. What was it about? Aww. It's about 10. About 10. Okay, good. Calm down. And then do an inversion of your choice. Classical headstand from the back of your mat. You could take the shoulder stand 
You could take the Viparita Karani waterfall pose with the block into your pelvis, legs up rising above the pelvis. In the inversion, there's the receiving, yeah, the receiving flow. And you're grounding down. Everything at the floor is the foundation. You ground the foundation down, and you take the rebounding energy up through the centers, the bonda centers of the body, and you really like allow the flow here, the downward flow. Receiving, balance, letting, allowing all aspects of the body and being to be balanced out. Balancing the brain centers into equanimity, a state of equanimity. All right, good, Shavasana, very good. To pull your, <clears throat> yeah, pull your body into space of evenness, all the limbs, and oriented from the spine, the center line, and the pelvis, and allow the pelvis to drop. <clears throat> Let your brain drop. Close your eyes. Let the weight of your whole body drop. Just let it go. A surrender to gravity. Nothing to do here. Nothing to think, nothing to figure out. Nothing to do. The art of doing nothing, right here. Let go of all of it and trust.
Okay, and roll to your right side into a fetal position. And sitting up from the side with your eyes closed. <coughs> Bring your hands to your chest center in Anjali Mudra. And we'll take a C of three ohms. Ah. And bring your thumbs to your forehead center and touch in. Take a deep, deep breath in. Namaste. Namaste. Great work, you guys. Awesome. <laughs> 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 